Uh, we're gonna talk about ditching the niche, which is one of my favorite topics. And honestly, one of y'all's favorite topics, because every time I talk about it, y'all are like, yes, 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 yes. So let's talk about how you can ditch the niche and what you can do instead. Hey, howdy, hey, y'all, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I was too lazy to go change my shirt. So if, if you watched the last video and you watched this video, you're getting the same thing. And I don't even care, honestly. So listen, I've talked about this before. Actually, I've talked about this before a lot. And every single time I talk about niching, those videos do really, really, really well. And what I mean is they get a ton of views, they get a ton of comments, all the things. And that tells me that this is something that y'all really want to talk about, really want to know about, really want affirmation that you're doing the right thing about. And so a few months ago, maybe, maybe even a year ago, I did this video where I talked about how I was ditching the niche and what I was going to be doing. And I thought that I would kind of bring it to you again as what you can do to ditch the niche if you want to do that. And hopefully, um, help free those chains a little bit of what you think you have to do when it comes to like building a brand on the internet. Okay, so if we look up the word niche in the dictionary, it says a specialized segment of the market for a particular kind of product or service. And then there's another like another definition that is denoting product services or interests that appeal to a small specialized section of the population. And this is traditionally how we think of niching is I'm going to put my product or create a product or create a brand or create a presence in one little sliver of the pie of the population. And what most people equate that to is niching in topic. So I'm only going to talk about this thing. I'm only going to talk about these two things. I'm only going to talk about this small subset of things. And listen, there's a couple of things that you need to know. One, it does work. If you're starting out from the beginning and you're trying to grow really fast, the more niched by topic and person that you are, the quicker you're going to grow. But what's going to happen is you're going to pigeonhole yourself into this one topic forever and ever. Amen. Because when you start to create content about other topics, those same people are not going to watch them or are not going to consume that content. And so it's going to be a little bit of a mess, honestly. But two, you're going to get real darn tired, real darn tired talking about the same thing, thing all the time. Mm -hmm. You are. And so while niching does work, it is a very, very slippery slope when thought of in the traditional way of like, I'm only going to talk about this thing. I'm only going to talk about this topic. So what I want you to do is flip that on its head and think about niching as I'm only going to talk to this person. What this does is it one allows you to be multifaceted in your content, allows you to talk about lots of things in your content and not get bored and allow the algorithm to kind of, you know, understand that you talk about lots of things to also get an audience who wants to hear you talk about lots of things because I promise you at some point you're going to get real tired of talking about the same thing. And so not only does it do that and like helps you like, you know, create space where you don't lose your marbles, but it also helps you create space where you can shift and change and move without a lot of detriment to what's going on in the business or in the brand. So since my inception, onto the internet as a content creator in some way, shape or form, I have always talked to online business owners and small business owners. But my topics have been, you know, fluid throughout that person. So there's a lot of things that an online business owner or a small business owner or a solopreneur, like the people that fit in this group that I want to talk to, a lot of things that y'all struggle with. You're going to struggle with like marketing your business as a whole. Cool. I can talk about that. You're going to struggle with content marketing. How do you grow on YouTube? How do you grow on Instagram? How do you do these things? Cool. I can help you with that. You're going to struggle with creating digital products and getting out of a service and creating online courses. Cool. I can help you with that. Those are all struggles that you have that I can step in and help you with because my niche of 
who I'm talking to has never changed. And if I would have started from the beginning as the person who only talked about YouTube strategy, right? Or only talked about digital products or only talked about this or only talked about that, I could easily find myself in a hole where all I could talk about was those things because that's all anybody cared to hear about from me. And I would have gotten really bored really fast because I am multi-passionate. And so for me to have to say, I'm only gonna talk about this thing to this person forever and ever, amen, sounds like torture. So the anti-niche is really just talking to a particular person. Now it still needs to be pretty drilled down and dialed down. I can go as broad as online business owners because I have a bigger audience, but honestly, that's not really my niche anyway. That's just something that's really quick and easy for me to say. What I actually wanna to talk to, who my actual niche is, is online business owners who are trying to make passive income through digital products and online courses and wanna use their content to sell it for them. So that is really my niche, but to just make it quick, I can say online business owners and also I can kind of talk about a lot of things underneath that. So instead of starting on Instagram or starting on YouTube or starting on TikTok, and only talking about one topic, I want you to think about who you're talking to and think of about four to five different subsets of topic kind of columns or pillars, if you will, that you can talk about underneath that. So for me, if I'm talking to who I just said I was talking to, right, I can talk about digital products. I can talk about online courses. I can talk about content marketing as a whole. I can talk about marketing as a whole. I can talk about YouTube. I can talk about Instagram. I can talk about TikTok, like whatever I want to talk about that helps them solve the problems that they have. So I want to give you a little assignment that's going to help you tremendously. But before I do that, hit me up in the comments below with the words, I'm ditching the niche. Let's just create a little movement down there. We're going to ditch the niche. And that way I know that you're on board with all of this and it'll help me come up with more content in the future if this is something that you guys wanna see more of. I'm ditching the niche in the comments below right now. Okay, so your assignment is to get out a piece of paper and write down your who. So I want you to, at the top of your piece of paper, write down who you wanna talk to. Now, it needs to be way less broad than just a huge group of people. You're not talking to all moms. You're talking to moms with kids under 12. You're not talking to all moms. You're talking to stay at home moms. You're not talking to all moms. You're talking to moms with older children. Um, you're not talking to all business owners. You're talking to solopreneurs or people who are just starting. You're not talking to everybody who has a home. You're talking to people who like the farmhouse style. Like niche down in a way where your who is pretty specific. And then I want you to come underneath that who and I want you to write like five little lines, okay? And under those lines, I want you to think about the different topics that you want to cover and that they would be interested in you covering underneath that. So if I'm talking to stay at home moms, then I might wanna talk about home organization, um, meal planning, budgeting, homeschooling, like there could be all kinds of things underneath that, right? If I'm talking to people who want to ditch corporate but haven't yet made the switch, right? Like people in corporate that wanna start their own business and wanna quit their job, what could I talk about under that? I could talk about how to start a business. I could talk about quick ways to make $1,000 a month. I could talk about side hustles. I could talk about marketing a business. I could talk about like one particular social media platform that's gonna help them do this. If my who is brand new YouTubers, then what can I talk to them about? I can talk to them about camera equipment, strategy, uh, audio equipment, scripting the videos, how to use your videos to sell. Like there's so many things I could talk about, right? So when you are ditching the niche, what we're really doing is ditching that traditional like idea of the niche and bring it in a new one. So we're ditching the idea that you can only talk about one topic to one person and be successful. We are bringing in the fact that you're going to talk to one particular person, type of person, and you're going to talk about multiple different things underneath that. From there, 
then you can sell a lot more things to that same person than you could if you were only talking to one topic. So going back to my example, if I was only talking to stay at home moms about budgeting, that's all I talked about, then I can really only create so many products to help them. So if we're talking about digital products or courses or things like that, I can really only create so much. I can create some spreadsheets, some budget planners, some PDFs, some printables, like things like that, but I'm kind of limited. Whereas if I'm talking to stay at home moms and I'm talking about budgeting, home organization, homeschooling, all of these things, then I have an entire like list underneath each of those topics of products that I can sell to that audience and they're gonna want because they are the people with these same struggles. Now what's really key here is that you understand your audience enough to understand what kind of topics they wanna see. So if I'm talking to stay at home moms and one of the things that I wanna talk about is gardening, I have to understand that there's only a small subset of stay at home moms who want to garden, have a garden, have the space to garden, care about gardening. And so, you really have to be in touch with the person you want to talk to so that you can then create the right topics to go along with that. Okay, so your assignment is on a piece of paper to write down your niche, your who, and then to give yourself four to five topics underneath that you can talk about that that person will actually care about, that you actually want to create content about, and that you can then be successful with creating products for and things like that. All right, don't forget to hit me below in the comments with an I'm ditching my niche comment. And here's to more freedom with your content, more freedom with the things you sell, more freedom to be multi-passionate and multifaceted and talk about lots of things and still make good money and still grow on platforms. Bye y'all.